Hey, what's up Blender users, I am Jonathan and in today's video we are going to talk about making procedural grass fields in Blender 2.80 with a technique that gives us the grass falloff effect you can see near the model in for example this render. This method also allows us to freely move the model in our scene and update the falloff in real time as you can see here. Oh and by the way, if you enjoy my content consider subscribing because I upload a new video every Saturday and with that said and done let's get straight into the video. So to start off I've already imported some plans from the Megascans library from Quixel and I did this by using the Megascans lifelink add-on for Blender and their program called Bridge. For a full tutorial on this, you can click the link which should now have popped up on the screen where they explain everything for you. Okay, now that I have the grass, I will select all of them, move them into a new collection and call it grass. What I also want to do is select all the tall grass, hide it and now select the smaller grass, press M again and make a new collection called grass small. So now I have separated the small grass from the tall grass and you can also name them accordingly. Okay, so now we'll go back to our first collection and we can add in a plane which is going to be just our ground. In this tutorial I won't show you how to make ground textures and all that and its placement. I only will show you how to make the grass field with the procedural fall off effect. To do this we will have to go into edit mode and subdivide our plane around this many times. Now we can go into the vertex groups, add in a group and hit assign with all vertices selected. And now we can add in a modifier. For the fall off effect we will utilize the vertex weight proximity modifier that allows us to remove vertices from the group we just created dependent on how near a other object is. So to show you that I'm just gonna add in an icosphere and now select the vertex group and select the icosphere as the target object. We can now go into weight paint and you can see that nothing really has happened because we have to change to geometry. And because we set it to vertex you can see that around the vertices of the icosphere vertices in the vertex group get deleted. We can also change this to for example face, edge or leave it at vertices. I'm just going to choose face. We can also adjust how strong we want this effect to be or which fall off we want. For example smooth looks like this but I'm just going to use linear. So what is the next step? We will now use this vertex group to control the length of our hair particle system. So go into hair and adjust the number. I'm just going to use for this tutorial 10,000 and we can also check advanced. We might want to use some advanced options later but for now just go into vertex groups length and choose the group you just created. You can now see that wherever the icosphere is, the hair particles get a lot shorter. But we of course don't want them to be just these hair strands, so under render we're gonna use collection and this is gonna be our tall grass, so select grass tall like this. We also want to pick random to give it some more variation and also check rotation and give it some face and randomize the face so we get more randomization. Because this is going to be tall grass, we want the scale to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to set it to 0.1 and also randomize the scale like this. We can now add in another particle system, but let me first name this to grass tall. And I'm just going to add in another one, call it grass small and do the exact same thing, except I'm not going to choose the vertex group to be the driver of the length. I'm just not going to change this particle system. So select grass small and it's basically just there to fill in all the parts where the tall grass is not showing up. So I'm just gonna disable the grass tall particle system and now we can also pick random and give it some random rotation like this. So for the small grass I want some more particles so I'm gonna go with 50,000. Also I want them to be a lot smaller so I'm gonna set them to 0.02 or maybe 0.03 like this and also adjust the randomness of the scale. And now we can re-enable grass tall and we see that we get this effect. You can now see that whenever I move the icosphere also the fall of moves. And yes, so this is basically it. For the lighting I would just use an HDRI 
And if you run an EV, you want to select all your plants and choose Alpha Blend as the blend mode to get rid of the black background. Now, once you're happy, you can of course get some more variation into your grass field by selecting some more plants. And of course you also want to add a ground texture. And yeah, that is basically it. That is the technique I used to get this render. And if you found this tutorial helpful, then you might want to consider liking and sharing this video. And subscribe to my channel, so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And with all that out of the way, we will see us next Saturday in the next tutorial.